Sheriff Linder says the investigation is continuing. They're not sure why those men were out there and what they were trying to steal. They know they stole a car. And they know that one of the property owners confronted them and has life-threatening injuries. He's, you know, in critical condition. They don't really know. It's just a day-by-day, -day, take it slow type of thing. You may have seen their faces and heard their names. Teens and young adults shot in Yellowstone County in recent weeks, all victims of a troubling trend. 25-year-old Brasser McCabe, it's the latest victim, a man authorities say was shot. And McCabe's mother tells MTN, My husband and I grew up in Billings and stayed to raise our family. We have lived in our house in Lockwood for 29 years. We are horrified by the violent crime that is currently plaguing our area. We need to come together as a community to voice our concerns to our public leaders and find out what we need to do as a community to end this now. She called on Billings residents to attend the city council meeting, and while she was not there, others talked about the violence. You hear somebody got killed or something, and then somebody close to you, it just makes it more real. As citizens, what can we do to help? And authorities say McCabe did nothing wrong. Trying to defend his property and ended up uh, uh, getting shot. Sheriff Mike Linder says his office is still investigating and has not determined whether the shooting may be gang related. But the 25 year old is now in a Billings hospital fighting for his life. Family says three bullets pierced his body, damaging his lung, pancreas, liver, kidney, stomach, small intestine, and also his spine, leaving him unable to move his legs. I just am very saddened that this happened to him, of all people. I mean, it, it's happening all over, and it just hits really close to home when you know these people. Bailey McCrumman considers herself a distant friend, but she, like many others, is rattled by what happened and is now praying for his recovery. I've seen a lot of our friends that, you know, that we used to hang out with and the outpour of love on social media that we've all tried to put out there. In Billings, David J, MTN News.